Hi there, I'm Duncan. Uh, it's Saturday morning. Uh, I'm about 10 miles just outside London, so I'm going to show you a bit of urban beekeeping. This is my garden as we look over there. See my assistant, uh, but also you can see my little beehive. So we're going to show you a bit of urban beekeeping. So here you go, these are the bees. You can see uh, it's pretty active already this morning. Uh, I've got two colonies in this hive. Uh, so that's the one entrance and this is the other and what we're going to do is inspect the bees and see how they're progressing and how they're helping look after the environment okay so i've got my beekeeping outfit on uh, let's go and inspect the bees first thing we need to do is get under the beehive and we're just going to check see if there's anything on here that indicates that the bees are not very well so we're looking for varroa mite uh, so what we can see here is bits of pollen uh, propolis uh, and a few bits of uh, debris that are coming out of the hive but generally I think everything looks pretty good so let's now put a bit of uh, smoke into the hive and then we can take the top off and have a look in on this hive on this uh, frame there we go let's have a look all right so they've built some honeycomb at the bottom there's lots of brood in there so it should have thousands more bees lots of uh, pollen and a very healthy looking hive of bees here so they're those ones that are covered over there the bees are about to emerge so we're in great shape here we still haven't spotted the queen yet let's just check this one okay this is light so I think they've probably all the bees have gone they've been born and they're out working for the hive now so see a few things not too bad still I haven't seen the Queen but what we're checking for is just to make sure they're all healthy and there's plenty of food which there is Okay, so you can see lots of bees on there, all working. You can hear them buzzing around us. So there's some uh, bees to emerge out of that frame. Looking very, very good. Nice and heavy, so there's lots of honey in there. Now this is an interesting one. If you just come in and have a look, you can see there's lots of uh, nectar here so it means they're capping the honey as well so we wouldn't eat this honey uh, because this is needed for the bees what we are going to do is put another layer on top uh, later in the year and then we can harvest the honey that way oh now this doesn't look good yeah I think we're gonna have to take that that frame off unfortunately so we've got some honeycomb there which we'll have to dispose of Still, we haven't spotted the queen yet. Let me make sure she's not on this piece. She doesn't appear to be. Let's put that there for now. Need to replace these frames at some point. Let me just check this last one. And still, we haven't spotted the queen yet. Oh, there she is. So can you see? The queen there, she's got the blue dot on. So she's doing a great job, laying lots of eggs. We're getting lots of bees out of this and we will get an awful lot of honey. So that's the inspection done. I'm very happy with that. We'll put everything back and leave the bees alone for another week. Okay, so that's it. That's the inspection done for this week. I'll uh, remove this bit of honeycomb. Mm -hmm. Give it to my son to take into uh, to class to show to the other kids, but we'll leave that down there just for now. We close up the frames very gently. So that's that. Put the cover board back. And that's it for another week. Um, we'll just knock this, uh, this bit of honeycomb off. So knock the bees off. Scrape that off.
and that's it. Put that back gently as I can. The other one back, and that's urban beekeeping. Thanks for watching.